Now this this um this video this is a real short like a little short um video on terms um Bud Crawford and it is the breakdown of his his dangerous um attributes. We got some very 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 dangerous at attributes and what fighters need to um pay attention to when you're fighting Crawford. Crawford is a um is a is a student he's a he's a student of the game of, of, of boxing. He have a lot of old school a lot of old school traits to him. And he really understand he understand defense. He understand defense. That's why a lot of times when you see him not doing when it seems like he's not really active, what he's doing is he's collecting information, data. And as a nurse, I understand collecting data, collecting information is very valuable to nursing and is very valuable to boxing. Crawford collects a lot of information. He picks up on a lot of he picks up on a lot he picks up on a lot of your habits and a lot of things you do when he's in the or, when he's in regular in the in the regular orthodox stance, right handed stance. But when he goes to Southpaw, or if he start off Southpaw, he already studied you enough to know what you, what you're going to do. And once he once he dial in to what you're going to do, he tries to finish you. This is what makes him very dangerous. He tries to finish you. And, and I'm going to tell you physically, his physical attributes, not that was just his mental. Now, his physical attributes is his long right jab. It's like a 74, 73 to 74 inch reach. He's able to touch you with that. And that's his, and that's his power hand. His right hand is his power hand he's a natural 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 right-handed so he's leading off with his strong hand and that what makes his hooks deadly his hooks and and his overhand right is 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 like getting hit with bricks is he's, he's got a very very hard left hook that would kill gamboa Gamboa was doing good till he got caught with that, that, that right. Once he hit you with that, and you don't see it coming, if you if you're not able to recover on time, somebody will either have to stop the fight, or he's going to cruise his way to a um a knockout victory on you. That's what makes him so deadly and dangerous. Is his right hand? That's his strong lead hand. And he know how to get that shit. He know how to pop that jab. And I think him and Earl Spence will be a good fight. It will be a battle of the jabs. It will be a battle of the jabs. Whoever established that jab the best will win that fight. And whoever can take their chin, their chin. Whoever got the better chin and the better jab will win that fight. That's there's gonna be a battle with the jabs because I think he he is right there with Earl, Earl Spence when it comes to the jab. But backwards fighting what he got over Earl Spence is fighting fighting going backwards. I think he he fight backwards better than Earl Spence. He do more things going backwards than Earl Spence. But coming forward, Earl, coming forward behind his jab, Earl Spence might be may be a little stronger. Just for size, I don't really know. I have to really study the the tape and look at everything what they do coming forward and coming forward behind the jab to know who is the who have the better jab. But Terrence Crawford right hand is deadly, and every punch he hits you with that right hand, it hurts you. That's his strong hand, and that's his lead hand. So a lot of people, his jab is not really a regular jab. His 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 jab is like a punch. He throws his jab almost. It's like it's like getting hit with a nigga right hand. So that makes him extremely dangerous. He the way he the way he um the 
way he way way he um pro when he probing when he's probing and fainting for um and trying to open you up, trying to open up your guard. He's dangerous. He's very, it makes him a very <clears throat> make him very dangerous, man. He triples up the jab. He pauses with it. He he blinds you with it. He blinds you with the lead hand. He does a lot of shit. And his and his left hand is not that is is not no whore either. He can hurt you with that motherfucker in his left too. He got very strong puncher. And that right hand is and that right hook is deadly. I'm talking about it should be a deadly it's probably a deadly weapon on the streets if he fights you and you run you into that shit on the streets. He'll fuck around and knock you out cold. You're gonna be asleep before you hit the ground. If you get in a fight with Terrence Crawford and he fights you southpaw and run you into one of the right hands, your ass gonna be in trouble. It's what makes him very dangerous. His right hand. Makes him a dangerous opponent for anybody. I'm talking about he's dangerous for Walter Waits. I mean, he mean Walter Waits. He's dangerous for, for junior um junior middleweights. He I believe he could go up to junior middleweight with that right hand. It's that strong. I don't know if his chin can hold up, but his right hand he can hurt he can hurt you, and his boxing IQ will make him a threat to one to one um 54. I think that's where he stop at. I believe some of them boys are so strong they might they might just run through him. They might could take his, They might could take that shot better, but can he take their shot? That's what I don't. I don't think so. But yeah, man, his right hand would makes him very lethal in the ring. Now I'm gonna be doing a series on this. What makes certain boxes very dangerous? You know, just for this could be a basically like a boxing channel when we talk boxing, because it's not a feelings channel. Oh, this person's trash. I respect all these guys, all these fighters. So if you're a fanboy, you're not gonna like this channel. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna hate me. If, or you a fuck nigga. You got real. You very emotional. You was raised. You was raised around a very emotional woman, and you unstable, and you act, you got traits like your mom. You're not gonna like this channel. You might as well just dumb it down or don't watch this channel because this. I, I talk boxing here. It's not no feelings who you like and don't like here. It's not oh he's trash, oh Tank's trash. He ain't trash. If 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 he's trash, you can beat him. If he's trash, you can beat him. That's trash. When a nigga like you can beat him, then he's trash. If you can't beat him, he's not trash. If the motherfucker got the ability to beat other professional boxers, he's not trash. He can fight a person that's trained and knock them out and beat other professional boxers. He's not trash. All these little kids on these motherfucking internet talking about niggas trash. These niggas, niggas getting paid millions of dollars to fight. He's not trash. He's not trash. He was trash. You wouldn't know about him. The only reason you know about him because he is good. 